time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everybody, welcome to Power Hour Live Thursday, November 2nd Hope everybody's doing well. Took two zero DTE trades today. One was Rick, which just hit before we jumped on. The other was a short squeeze PM Iron Condor, which is uh, doing okay at the moment. For Power Hour, oh, Power Hour, where did our premiums go? We are inverted, my friends. So we'll be doing a straddle. And because we are up over 1% from the open, we'll be doing a uh, short squeeze version. In fact, I need to set up my template right quick. pH squeeze straddle. with my new November size. Let's go ahead and save that one. All right. So I'm ready to roll. Got a couple minutes before entry. Where, oh, where did our strangles go? <laughs> such a, <laughs> such a short time ago, like four days ago, we were seeing 10 wide. Now we're inverted. Volatility obviously getting crushed again today. VIX under 16. It's above 22. Just a short four days ago. Do you need to buy some longs? Long, they're locked in. So it's right in between strikes. So right now it looks like it would be the 15s. See where it moves here in the next minute. If it moves up, we'll stick with the 15s. If it moves down, it might be the 10s. Got my chicken bone broth today. I got to say, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of the beef bone broth.
All right, looking like the 15s. Trying to get filled at 10 bucks. Nine ninety. Build at nine ninety on the fifteen straddle. Two to one. Yep. Just the same strike I used for my PM iron condor as well. So a nice slow drift higher would be ideal. Let's see on my PM, I got filled at 13. So at 780, I need to reduce my stop on my PM. So PM 780. Tranche one, I got filled at 990. So 595 is my target to reduce my stop on tranche one. So I entered a new TGIF today. up a little bit since I entered. Yeah, our time fly is let's check it out. Yeah, it's pushing towards the upper break even. I mean, the teaser line still stays fairly flat, even a little bit higher, but too much higher tomorrow or, or today. I will uh, most likely just need to close that just to kind of manage risk. Get a little pullback tomorrow. That would be ideal. Also entered a new time fly this morning in the Nov 24 cycle. And that one's already pushing up to the upper end of the range. Not, not quite to, uh, I'll give it up to 4325 before I would adjust that one, but Certainly been pushing since I entered. Yeah, I've done them as low as like three days PT. But, you know, you're just. I, 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 one of the things I like about them is they're, you know, that teaser line is so flat for such a nice range that you don't have to. You don't have to manage them super actively. So I, I prefer kind of seven, seven plus days. Flip side of that is on a three day, if it stays in a nice tight range for a short period of time, the profits can come quick. Let's 
So I was checking out CL. We're not to our profit target yet, but let me see where this is trading. 248. So it's profitable. I think I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna close the uh the oil strangle book the profits we have. We're down to 42 DTE. We get another spike in oil volatility. I'll just put on a new one. So the 248. All right, just posted that in the option selling channel. S&P up 75, one and three quarter percent. NASDAQ up 250, Russell up 37. Russell's up two and a quarter percent today. Dow at 500, one and a half percent. I did, uh, I did trade some long S&P futures, but pretty small, just micros. Still in a few of those. Hovering near our highs, high today, 43.15, currently at 43.14. Had that initial push, within the first 10 minutes, we hit our upside expected move, pulled back, chopped around, and then made a big push up again. We've pretty much been kind of sleepy, sleepy grinding higher since. Up over a percent from the open. 1.8% from yesterday's close, but a little over 1% from today's open. Oh, my PM is below 780. So I need to reduce that stop to $4. Any bit of down movement is going to stop that out after stop reduction, but lock it in. Hopefully we go up here, a little bounce. What else did you guys do today? Anything besides Rick? Any any anybody else in a PM Iron Condor? Mm -hmm. 
Dick K did the Dick K special, of course. PT just Rick, Ryan, Rick, and PM. Speaking of Ryan P, don't forget, 30 minutes after the bell, Ryan P will be presenting his trade plan. Let me um, grab that link to repost while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Popeye's chicken. I like I like some Popeye's chicken, Wooga. <laughs> it's good for the heart. Can't remember, can't remember the last time I was at a Popeye's chicken, but it is good. So I guess no more interest rate hikes. That's what the market's telling us. Until Jerome says so, anyway. Uh, data list, why do I lock the price slices? Uh, sometimes I play with price slices, sometimes I don't. So... Yeah, no, no reason. Sometimes I like to stick it right in the middle of my graph. Sometimes I like to stick it on price. No reason, though. It happened to be locked because I was uh, I was looking at down 15% on a different, different thing, but... <clears throat> Uh, PT had my first one this week, and so that'll that'll come out on the podcast uh, as a podcast episode on Monday. Spread trading down to 805. I need 575 on tranche one to reduce my stop. Yeah, I've been a little uh, inconsistent on my episodes. I want to get back to getting one out every week, but a lot going on these days. But this will help. Oh, you're right, Chris. 595. I couldn't read my own handwriting. There we go. My nine looked like a seven. I did believe you. You're, you're starting to build trust with me again, Chris.
getting down to 730. Tranche two coming up in a few minutes. Going to be at a low premium straddle for tranche two. Maro, did you ever do anything whenever the strikes are inverted, but the perform the performance of taking a straddle if the strikes are inverted? That's been set on my list. It's like the 15s if we hold here. Again, I'm going to be locked and loaded on the 15s. Yeah, so I don't, yeah, because I don't actually trade the inverted strikes. I actually trade a straddle if they're inverted. So I was just, I was curious what that would look like. All right, 15s it is for tranche two. Try to get filled at 450. Filled at 455. Yeah, like tranche one, Meech was kind of a tweener. So I just, I chose the one that you know, I think the one I got in 15s were just slightly closer to the price than the tens. So yeah, that'd be, yeah, I guess you'd have to use the option Omega data. Just find you basically have to find all the dates that they were inverted and then go back and do a separate test with strata. I, I think I feel like I've done that before. I may even have it, but all right. So tranche two got in at four fifty-five.
So 275. That's what I'm looking for to reduce stop on tranche two. Uh, PT, I don't change the number of contracts now. I I uh, I have my the number of contracts that I'm doing for the full month of November, and I'll stick to that no matter what. Uh, Bumblebee uh, inverted strikes means that the puts are trading. So if we're if we're trying to target, um, uh, let, let's say we were trying to target six dollars of premium. So you can see the puts are, excuse me, the calls are the closest to $6 or the 43.10. The closest to $6 on the uh, put side are the 43.20. So the, the puts are higher, a higher strike than the calls. You know, we want to be essentially selling out of the money. So you'd be selling to in the money. You'd be going inverted. So if if the if the strikes that we're trying to or if the price of the um, if the price that we're trying to target is inverted, the, the most narrow that I'll go is a straddle. Tranche one is at six thirty. Need a little bit more. Seen six twenty. It's the lowest I've seen. Six fifteen, six oh five. Looking for five ninety five. Creeping into new highs of day, 4316. Six dollars, soft six flash. And back up to six twenty five.
Needed to creep back up a little bit. <clears throat> Few minutes till tranche three. Ah, uh -huh, very nice trading naked. And back up to six seventy. Didn't quite get there. Do you did you supply all that for Elliot or did he did he bring some screens from across the pond? Elliot, you may just have to move to the US. Just just move to Florida. Back down to 605. Six, 595. There it is. All right, reducing my stop on tranche one. Just in time to get ready for tranche three. Look how close these, look how close these five cent longs are. Bought my lungs for tranche three. Looks like it might be the 15s again. This could be really good or really bad. Yep, six to three. Agui. Agui. I got to reset my templates up for my November. All right. So 4315 for tranche three. Going in at 380, 385. Three eighty. Some filled at 380. You guys stealing my orders again? Some at 375. 
All right, Summit 380, Summit 375. Reinhard, welcome. Uh, you can check my, so I update my trading plan for Power Hour every month. So you can check the trade plans channel right below this one uh, and, and see my uh, trade plan for November. So tranche one today, I did two to one, but all the, the others are one to one. That's what you'll find when you're in a uh, market that pushes up like this. Basically, anything over half percent up from the open. Doing two uh, two to one does does a decent amount better. Um, in the uh, zero, let's see, I think it's, yeah, in the zero DTE course channel, you'll see the uh, video and um, and the uh, examples of order templates, but order templates are based on your position size. So those are just, what you want to do is, is you can use those order templates and then just set them up based on you know, the size and the way that you're, you're going to be trading it. In fact, cause I just changed my position sizes for November. So I, if you noticed, I was kind of toggling through the position size cause I don't even have my position, uh, my new order template set up yet. Which maybe I'll just do that right now. So for tranche one, well, there's some I need to delete here first. I need to delete all these. Yep, all in on 43.15. Like I said, this could be really good or really bad. I got to keep an eye on tranche two. It's at 365. I'm looking for 275. So while we're waiting, I'm going to go through here and uh, fix up my order templates and toss, starting by deleting some old ones. I wish they made it easier to do than this, but if you guys know a better way than going through one-to-one -one deleting these, let me know. Yeah, that's what I've been doing too. I'd saving over them on some of these, but some of these are just old. I need to just get out of. I have no idea what this one is first. Just need to clean these up a little bit. Yeah, some of these are just old ones I'm trying to delete. Get out of here.
problem is that when I set up the new ones, I just, I copy it and then I save it as something new. And then I got both of them in there. So. Price action's being real nice so far, ladies and gentlemen. 29 minutes to go, though. So don't spend your money yet. Launch two, trading at three thirty. Just doing a little house cleaning here. Is that a hotel, Dick? When Dick's internet's out, he just goes to the Waldorf Astoria. <laughs> Is that in Tampa? Very nice. Tranche two still trading at three thirty, looking for two seventy five. Oh, nice moral. All right, so I mean it's win percentage is right up there. Yeah. Only 17, only 17 occurrences, huh? Well, it seemed like a more than that in, uh, well, I guess it was, yeah, just basically July and August. So yeah, that's all right. Good stuff. I haven't, I haven't run my first, I, I've set up a couple. I just, I haven't run anything yet. Nice. Thanks, Marl. I'm going to, I'm going to save that. I think I did that at one point, but I don't remember what I called it. So
Punch two down to three bucks. So I'm going to call this five hour charge one. versus inverted. Which two still hanging around three bucks. I need two seventy five. Down to two ninety five. Two eighty five. To sixteen, look at VIX just crushing down seven percent today again. Pushing new highs. Yeah, Dick K, with all your love of automation, I was thinking about you when I started going through Trade Steward, wondering why you hadn't uh, done any of that yet. Yeah, I kind of I was kind of keeping tabs, just kind of checking in every now and then on um, TAT Trade Automation Toolbox with IB, and then Trade Steward. Um, just kind of waiting for things to waiting for them to kind of wrinkle out, and, you know, get get the wrinkles out of some of those issues. But uh, I think we're I think we're getting close. All right, so Tranche One trading at five fifty. Tranche two trading at four. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Tranche two and three trading at 450. Yeah, TAT is IBKR. Trade Steward is uh, 
TD. All right, hit a high of 43.18. Early indication market on close and balance, 208 million buy side. Trade steward can do stops as well. I just, I don't think they can do trailing stops if I'm remembering right. Yeah, they can do stop losses on spreads, just not trailing. Let me tranche two to hover, come back down and hover around 43.15 for a minute. Two back down to three fifty. Me like Evix better in the in the twenties. a lot of lot of moves outside the expected daily range lately a lot a lot of moves but let's settle down for power hour in october <coughs> Yeah, I heard you say that. We'll get, you've been using that that ten wide. Yeah, that that's a nice feature that they would just close the shorts if there's no bids on the longs. That's that's pretty cool. Fifteen minutes to go.
Yeah, it always it always feels like there's a good amount of premium left when you're doing straddles. Data list. I saw, uh, I think I remember seeing somebody ask that question in the uh, trade steward channel and, and the owner came in and said something to the effect of, I think it, does it pop up a warning maybe? I don't know if anybody else here has experience with that yet, but <clears throat> I think it does something to help you avoid strike overlap. All three early indications was 208 million buy side. Final one coming out in three minutes. So discount, if it avoids the strike collision across different strategies, is that only if the other strategies are in Trade Steward? Or if it was a manual trade, it treats it the same way. Okay. I got you, Dick K. <laughs> Still haven't reduced tranche two stop yet. Still hanging around 350. It's going to need to come down towards 15s for that to trigger. Come back down a little bit. Ooh, it flipped to 1.7 billion sell side.
Yeah, Chris, keep in mind with the expected move when you get down to this, there, there's always a couple couple points left at the end of the day. It doesn't go to zero. Trying to creep new highs on the day, 19s. Dick K's fib's going to repel it right here. Repel it back down to the 15. Make it extra, extra thick, Wuga. All right, we can touch 43.20 if we just touch it and then come back down. So I'm going to start working some of my orders. I'm going to start with my PM iron condor. Put that at four. 30. Yeah. Let's go four. Four even. One go to four twenty five. Got thirty seconds till I start bailing some of these. Build at 455 on my PM iron condor. Four fifty on tranche one.
395 on tranche three. And 370 on tranche two. All out. All winners. All right. So let's see. We got tranche one was in at 990. Out at 450. Nice win there. Tranche two in at 455. Out at 370. Tranche three in at 380. Out at 395. So 15 cent loser on tranche two, actually. But winner, winner, chicken dinner all together. All right, my friends, good stuff. Even with the inverted power hour still paid. Can't beat that. All right, so tomorrow is Friday the 3rd, so Chad will be streaming live in the morning, and then we will be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Talk to you soon.